up, Big Brother hometown viewers. We are doing this week three HOH strategizing. I don't even know on the fly. I'm probably going to get nominated because I was in work all day, didn't talk to anybody. Uh, there's some people at work I'd like to, you know, nominate for eviction. That's for damn sure. But I'm going to hop off this diary room and do some more work. I have a bunch of stuff I have to get done. So, you know, I stay employed today. So hopefully I also stay in the house today and I don't get nominated because I've had lackluster chats all day because I'm just, you know, doing work. It's very rude for me to be very busy at work whenever I thought I was supposed to be not busy at work. Anyway, lots of people I like to evict from my workplace. But... The HOH comp, I did complete it, which apparently is good because some people did not. I do not think I finished with the fastest time, however. They told me it was 4 minutes and 21 seconds, and there was a time limit of 10, but I do not think that was fast enough because I misdid some words. I don't know. I had a whole strategy where I made a key, and I was, like, I was putting numbers really quick together with words as I was solving it because, I don't know, strategy... Cryptology? Is that the study of codes? I don't know. I just watched The Da Vinci Code on TV over the weekend, so... <laughs> codes, symbols, numbers, I don't know. Tom Hanks, what are you doing? Looking for the Holy Grail, Da Vinci Code, but... And anyway, I'm trying to say, I think maybe my time's competitive. I don't know. I will find out whenever they tell us what the actual, you know, uh, result was. Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. So, still don't have any tea for us today, but I have some realizations. I have already talked about like, people not, like priorities not being how I thought that they would be, okay? We got that. Well, I am feeling so out of the loop today, and I mean, nothing's going on, but I just know that I'm out of the loop. And so that means a lot of stuff's going on, I really, really, really want to be messy and I want to start some stuff, but I figure since I'm out of the loop, I'm probably not on people's radar either, hopefully, but that means they do have like, I don't know. Anyways, I mean, I have like two people who I trust, maybe three, I don't know, um, but like long story short I just want to be messy but like for my game I don't think that I can right now but I have a really good idea so just stay tuned maybe like if people like me more then I can do something all right so today is a new day we had an HOH comp but that HOH comp was also paired with an advantage comp so you could either choose to play for HOH or choose to play for advantage and my only option was to play for the advantage which I probably would, even if I did have the option. Um, so I played it, I think I did well. Who knows how the other people did. Um, I'm hoping someone I know in that trusts me and is working with me wins the advantage. I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, I don't even know what the advantage is. It could be like, you're safe next week, I don't know. But I'm very, I'm like calming down with all the information I heard two days ago with Destiny, Mark, and Rizzo. Um, I still am targeting them. Um, Hannah, love you, but I've heard that you're also someone who could be coming after me, so we just gotta see the group of Monica, myself, um, Jason, and Alexander have been going pretty well and pretty strong. Um, what else? Also, I'm getting really close with Amanda, I'm getting close with Lizzie, and I'm getting close with Jess, but I don't know if Jess and Amanda are with Destiny, so I want to, you know, talk with them, but also, like, hold some information until I really get a grasp of where their head's at in this game. Um, but besides that, this HOH should be interesting. I'm in excited to see who wins it, um, and then we go from there. So, I don't know, y'all. This is going to be a wild game, but I'm excited. Oh my gosh, Michael won the H-O-H. I live to fight another day, bitches. 
Here's the goal, though. Get into Michael's ear, as a woman does, and sway his opinions to Macy and whoever else he wants. I don't care. But Macy, I don't know where she stands. She's, she's all which way and up and down and side to side and left to right and north to west to east to west. North, it doesn't matter. You guys can laugh at this later. But the point is, the point is, in the words of the mom from my big fat Greek wedding, the man may be the head, but the woman is the neck. And she can turn the head any way she wants. Hello, welcome to my streaming setup. Um, so here's the deal. I thought I won the HOH competition. It took me five whole minutes to decode this. First of all, basic math is what I teach children. So this is disappointing. Second of all, decoding shit is my ish. That's how I won the POV. But here's the thing. Michael has already given me his word. He won't put me up. So really all I have to do is sit back and try and convince him not to put up any of my allies, which at this point, the person I trust mostly is Mark um, and Monica. Um, Marcelo, he and I had a conversation that I trust him more, but I'm still keeping an eye on him. Um, I, yeah, Mark is the only person I'm really worried about, but I don't think Michael would put him up. And other than that, to each their own, <laughs> I'm fine. So if he goes back on his word and does put me up, he literally has said to me, let me pull up the receipts. Everybody hold on. Everybody relax. He said, we were talking about because Michael really screwed over his POV, um, but he really did well in this one. So I said, what a glow up. Like, you deserve to beat me in this word game. Like, good for you. Um, and I said, I hope one of us gets it. And before he got it, he said, absolutely. I won't put you up. You got my word on that. Um, but I'm still salty on the POV. And I said, honestly, if you win, we're even. So we're even. Better be. If I can keep Michael close, that'll be great. But we'll see. But I'm feeling great right now. Laying low. I thought I really had it in the bag. But this is even better than me getting HOH and not having to do any work. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, R-I-Z-G-O-D. The man, the myth, the legend, Rizzo, a.k.a. Riz God, bringing you guys another confessional. I just got out of work. Unfortunately, I don't really have this, you know, the, the, the normal song that I sing with. But if I did, uh, Josh, I don't know if you edit these things, but you can, like, play in the, like, the door of the Explorer. Backpack, 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 yeah! So basically, yeah, that's that's kind of what, uh, what, what you know, the theme of this confessional is, uh, backpack. In other words, uh, I'm literally being carried by my allies right now shout out michael man dude i listen i thought i did so good like five minutes i was like dude i fucking slayed yada 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 and then um i you know michael wins i'm like let's fucking go and then i get out of work i ask michael like hey man we're like what's up and he's I'm like what you get in your thing he's like like under three minutes i was like what the fuck all right fine <laughs> whatever but it, it's great um i'm so happy michael won uh half of the board men get paid both of the board men got paid because I'm not going on the block this week, which is great, great, great for me because um, I think honestly, uh, you know, like last round, I was in danger of possibly being a replacement nom due to Marcelo. And I, I kind of realized that not, not, not that I'm playing too, too hard, but like I'm playing a little fast. Um, Michael even just told me now that Alex is, you know, sketch of me, Mark and Destiny working together, which is honestly hysterical. Um, like, I, listen, I'm close with both of them separately, but in terms of all three of us, like, working together, like, in unison, 
I don't know if it's really going to happen. I know Destiny's really sketch of Mark playing both sides. And I'm not telling Mark that because Mark is fucking a lunatic. And if he knows Destiny says these things, Mark will make it his prerogative to target Destiny. And then I'm losing allies because they're going to war with each other. And then I'm here like, uh. So I'm going to make sure I keep my mouth shut about it. I don't want them to know. Alex telling Michael that it's not really great for my game. I mean, clearly he... I trust Michael a little more than me, which is fine. I mean, like, I everybody can't be my best friend. I'm, I'm aware of this. But I know Alex still has my back in theory. I just need to do a better job of being close with him because he thinks there's a majority with me, Destiny, and Mark. And, like, that makes me feel pretty good. It makes me feel like I'm on top, which, not to be cocky, because, like, obviously shit can hit the fan, but at this moment, I feel pretty good. I'm going to use this round to lay low. All right, so uh, as HOH, I do have to nominate two people this week, uh, so I'll just get right to it. Um, my first nominee is going to be Tasha. Tasha, I'm sorry, this is your third time um, being nominated, but for me, this is just the easiest decision right now. Um, and then my other nominee is going to be Lizzie. Lizzie, I'm sorry, but I really haven't gotten to know you that well relative to everyone else. Um, I wish you both the best of luck in the veto competition. Um, and again, these nothing personal. Um, this is just what I think is best for my game right now. Well, I went for the secret advantage in the comp today. And I didn't finish because I'm too stupid to fucking unscramble words. So annoying. Uh, I really would have loved to have that just to fucking ruin somebody's game. But I knew I, knew I was going to throw this HOH anyways. So when the opportunity came to, you know, choose which I wanted to do between HOH and a secret advantage, it was a fucking easy choice. Um... It just sucks that I couldn't pull through for it. I don't know what it'll be. Probably some kind of fucking cool looking veto, like a diamond veto or something. Um, but, you know, whatever. I got Tasha to stay last night, which is good. Everybody seemed to be like, they didn't really care or like, no one really wanted to say who they preferred because no one wanted to split the house over Tasha or Madison. So I kind of just started telling people that I heard Madison so that way I, Tasha would stay. Madison never talked to me. And Tasha is going to be somebody that's always on the block. Never going to win a comp. And I just had good conversations with her. And I think she's going to she's gonna trust me moving forward. And especially because people told her last night. Like, Tasha messaged me after and said, hey, like, thank you. Like, people said that you were in my corner tonight. And the whole, I told her I would use the veto on her if I want it. Um, luckily, I came in second. So I think she thinks if I want it, I would have taken her down. Then I got to save her. So, like, I think I have her in my pocket. Um, I know Amanda wants to work with me. Hannah wants to work with me. Marcella wants to work with me. Rizzo wants to work with me. Alex wants to work with me. Um, who else? Uh, I had a call. With, I had, like, a two-hour call with Michael last night, and we got really close and talked a lot of game. Um, so I think I have – Jess wants to work with me. I think I have, like, you know, 85% of my base is covered I'm very glad i won hoh um and honestly like shout out to josh for like not really explaining the directions of that first round pov because if i knew the exact directions i would have dominated it i would have won by like five or six points um am i a comp beast now i guess i am i don't know it's Cutthroat was, like, the only time where I was playing individual immunity challenges. Um, and... I don't know. Everyone was... There were a lot of really good players in that. Um, maybe everyone here just kind of stinks at comps. Um, which is good, because I really enjoy doing that dance. So hopefully I can do that, like, two or three more times. Um, so today, um, obviously everyone congratulated me. Obviously everyone wanted to talk. I really wanted to use this to one, build trust with people and then also get information. So a couple things. Um, 
not a lot of people are digging Macy. Um, and Macy is in alliance with me and Alex right now. Um, multiple people, including Monica, uh, I can't remember a few other names, but multiple people told me Macy should be put up. Um, so that's cool. I'm not going to fight to save Macy. I'm obviously not going to put her up this week because uh, she's cool with me. But it's a very easy boot uh, down the line. Um, obviously, people are scared of Marcelo. wasn't going to put Marcelo up this week because I don't think he's going to put me up if for some reason he wins. Um, and Destiny's a little scared of Mark. I don't, I know they're both duplicity people, um, but Destiny was really shitting on Mark, so I don't know if it's a facade to, you know, make it less obvious that they're so close, or what. Uh, certain people are very scared of Rizzo, Destiny, and Mark. Like, Alex was telling me that, like, Alex, I don't know how to tell you, but Rizzo's, like, my best friend in this game. <laughs> so I obviously didn't tell him, but I'm like, dude, Rizzo's with us. Like, let me know. Like, dude, we're good. We're good, bro. Coming at you live from the childhood bedroom again because I missed my flight. Here are my participation trophies. Pictures of me in high school. Here's the Bed Bath & Beyond stuff that I left from college. Here's Tigger. There he is. Tried to zoom in, can't do that. Anyways, you know how in Big Brother, they cut, like, like it'll be like somebody saying something dumb and then boom, they'll cut to somebody else in the DR room being like, that's what I'd like to happen based on Michael's um, nominations. I would like it to be, I'm so sorry, y'all. My hair normally doesn't look like this. I just don't care anymore. Anyways, um, I would like it to be Michael's video of nominating people and then cut to me going. Because, like, how does it further the game? How does it further his game? How does it further my game? How does it further anybody's game? I don't think Lizzie was going to come after any of us. Tasha, honestly, sure, whatever. Put her up again. I don't really care. Sorry, Tasha. It's just you've been up a lot of times. I care about you as a person, but it's just you're the easy option at this point. But put somebody else up to further the game. Yeah, it's still early on, but Lizzie, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, put up a Macy. Make some waves. Put up a Hannah. I don't know. I can only see at this point what happens with the POV and if he has to put up a replacement nom, who it might be, but goodness gracious like play with a little bit more fire y'all so the last time we spoke madison was evicted unanimously essentially she gave up which really sucks but since then a couple things have happened that you guys should know about number one i solidified an alliance with myself marcello alex and monica I don't really trust Marcelo. He's been playing really messy, but right now his back is up against the wall and he needs to work with us. So I do trust him for now. I also trust Alex and I also trust Monica who I talked with. We're all on the same page and we're about to shake this game up. Now, Michael just won HOH. I like Michael, but he is firmly in the middle and he doesn't know that he's gonna be in the middle about two sides about to go to war. He nominated Lizzie and he nominated Tasha for the third time. Big power me, bro. Here's what's gonna happen. If the nominations stay the same, I'm gonna rally up the votes, we're gonna keep Lizzie, we're gonna use her as a vote to our side, and we're gonna let these people who think they're running the game that we're not fucking around anymore. If the Vita gets used, maybe we'll try and get Michael to make a power play, we'll go from there. Here's what I do know. I know who's throwing my name out there because Mark, you think you have friends in this game? Well, guess what? So do I. And guess what? I'm gonna get your ass. So we're both wrestling fans. So let me put this into words that you can understand. This is not a promo. This is a fucking shoot. I'm coming for you, bro. Get ready. I'm a threat. 
Oh, these fucking people, dude. Apparently, I was just told by Amanda that there is a narrative being pushed that I am too well connected. And while that narrative is not wrong, I don't appreciate it being spread this early. Um, so for that reason, Jason and Monica, I'll see your asses on the fucking block next round when I win HOH. Bye. Ribbit, ribbit. Guess who won the power of Vito? I did. I got 15 spoons in Spoon Frog. That's pretty impressive, I think. Try to beat it. Love a good prop. I think I'm going to fashion these into a veto-shaped necklace for my veto meeting video that I have to do in about three minutes. But I'm not using the power of veto. I told Michael that, but then I told him that I wanted to keep Lizzie, who is, and he wants Lizzie gone, so as HOH, I'm kind of defying his intentions, which I think might be detrimental to our alliance. But I did it already. Sometimes you have to go with your gut, and sometimes you have to open your big mouth. I'm trying to figure out what's on call, I'm trying to get all of my tentacles out on call, be the bell of the ball for 30 minutes. We'll see, but that time is over. Ribbit, ribbit. Hi, Big Brother Hometown's house guest. Uh, I have won the power of veto, and with that, I can choose to veto two of the nominations that Mike put up, Tasha and Lizzie, and at this point, I have decided to not use the power of veto. Thanks. Literally, the alliance of me, Jason, Alex, and Marcella, this is proof. This is proof of just men being men, okay? I just wanted to name the Alliance. Do I like the Revolutionaries? No. Do I like the Org of the Phoenix? No. It's extremely played out. But listen, we just needed to name it because you're not an official Alliance unless you have a name. I just wanted to name it. Boys. So it's me, your girl, Lizzie Crabtree, and I'm on the block. Um... Am I surprised? No. When Michael won HOH, I was like, this is probably the worst person for me to win HOH because I talked to him the least. We've talked a little bit about Jeopardy, but it's hard because it's like, I don't want that to be our bonding point because I want people to think I'm dumb. So like me talking about Jeopardy and him talking about Jeopardy and us bonding about that is like a hard thing for me to bond with someone about in this game. Especially when these people don't know me. So if I can kind of keep up the narrative that I'm kind of an idiot, like, let's do it. Um, of course, I did actually fail that word on Scramble. So, you know, maybe I'm not faking. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm on the block either way. And I really don't want to be. It sucks. I'm against Tasha. And although I don't want Tasha to stay that long in the game, she's not somebody I would have targeted this early. Um, and it sucks that I'm against her, but it is what it is. Um, oh my gosh. Moving forward, you know, the POV happened and I came close. I scored 11 in Spoon Frog. I got the spoon in the cup 11 times in two minutes, which is like a personal best for me. Um, but I tied for second with Tasha and Amanda got first. She's not using the power of veto. And although that does suck in some way, I completely understand and I'm not going to hold it against her. However, I'm trying to get people to want to work with me. I've been having lovely conversations with people. I've had a lovely one with Destiny. I've talked to Monica. I've talked to Jason. I've talked to Marcelo. I, I'm talking to Alex soon. Um, I've talked to Amanda. Basically, I'm trying to talk to people and to work with people. And I'm trying to figure out who I want to work with. Um, Jason, Marcelo, and um, Monica definitely want to work with me and want to work with me as like that group. The thing is, I get a lot, I get like insincere vibes from Jason and Marcelo. Like when I talk to Marcelo, 
he was on his phone the entire time, which like just highlights to me that he just is working everybody. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And then Jason, um, I don't know how sincere he is actually at all. Like again, like after the for the first call we were on together, he told me he liked my vibe and that was really fun, but I was like half asleep that whole call. So don't know, but you know, if he wants to turn me into like his like big brother girl or whatever, like go for it. I've won at the end that way. Um, so not scared. Um, I like being underestimated. Um, it helps keep me in the game. So I'm fine with that. And if he thinks he can control me, that's great. He'll keep me in. Um, I think I'm an okay player. Like, I pay attention to stuff. I think I pick up on things that some people don't. I could just be completely off to. But I think I'm a decent player. And these things that are coming out day whatever today is are all things that I've been saying since day like two. One, two. And everyone's like, mm. not everyone. I didn't tell everyone, but they're just like, oh, it's okay. You're fine. Just leave it alone. Let it go. Blah, blah, blah. If people would have listened to me and never would have got to this situation where the house is divided and we just gave the numbers to the other side, what would have happened? But no, what does Destiny know? Nothing. She's an idiot. However, however, if you think that I cared before, wait till you see me playing from the bottom. Because let's be real. I don't like having anything easy. Nothing in life should be easy. I like playing from the bottom. <laughs> I like being on the bottom. So now you're going to see me work my way to the top. And suddenly it's going to be there. Maybe not. I might fall flat on my face and you guys will be like, oh, she's an idiot. She just said she's going to work her way up. But I'll tell you, if anyone can do it, it's me. It really is. And I have some very decent people in this game who I think have my back. At least for now. Until they don't need me anymore. So I'm going to utilize that. And I'm going to... The people are coming after me. Because one thing you don't do, don't lie on me. Because it's not a cute look. I do enough shit for you to come after me for on my own without you needing to lie and making some stuff up. So don't lie and make some stuff up. Don't do that. Because it's not cute. And it won't work. So, check yourself. Looking at you, Monica. I like you. But don't fucking lie on me. That's not cute. It won't work. Okay. Okay. Bye. I vote to evict the beautiful, spunky Tasha. This is another hard vote, uh, but I vote to evict Tasha. I vote to evict Tasha. We love this very unflattering angle of me, but I don't plan on getting out of here anytime soon. So I cast my vote to evict Tasha. I vote to evict Tasha. <sighs> All right. Um didn't want to have to make this video this round, but my vote is to evict the lovely Tasha. Hey guys, I sadly vote to evict Tasha. What's going on guys? It's my uh, round confessional uh, or whatever voting thing. Um, it's really fucking boring. I, I tried with Mark and Destiny, I did, but whatever, it's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, you're really, you really got pushed, but my vote for tonight is sadly for Tasha. All right, this is my uh, vote for elimination tonight. And so uh, after much debating and, and thinking and whatnot, uh, I am sticking with my original promise to support Tasha. And I am voting for Lizzie to be evicted from the house tonight. So with that being said, absolutely nothing against Lizzie. She's a very cool person. Um, but I just didn't get to know her as fast, so uh, we will see where that leads. And I am also a man of my word, and I promised Tasha I would support her. So, with that being said, there you go. My vote for eviction is for Lizzie. This sucks. Unfortunately, I have to vote to evict Tasha. I'm sorry, Tasha. Hey y'all, I think a lot is going to change after tonight's vote, so let's draw the lines and let's 
Let's do this thing. That being said, I vote to evict Tasha. All right, it's time to vote. And I know you guys don't care for my long ass video, but if I don't push play and start doing it, then I just won't make a vote. So you're gonna have to just let me think this shish stuff out of my head really quick. My vote to evict Lizzie. Sorry. I just, I just can't, like, sorry. I can't vote Tasha right now. I gave my word, so. Sorry, I tried, but I can't. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to start playing Big Brother. I told you we were gonna try and round up the votes to save Lizzie. I think we've done it. I hate that they've used you as a pawn throughout this entire game. They don't deserve it, but we're about to show them that we're not here to be messed with. I vote to evict Tasha. And by a vote of 11 to 2, Tasha, you have been evicted from the Big Brother hometown. Well. <laughs>